Hi, I'm Ty Moser, and this is the Mona Local Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how I turned this pen out of some mesquite firewood. I started off at a pile of mesquite that I had in my backyard. My daughter helped me pick out some pieces that might Here, be appropriate for a couple pen blades. That'll be good. Yeah. Maybe that one. All right, let's go. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Chloe. Using the bandsaw, I cut each piece roughly in half just so I can get something that resembled a straight side. Then using the joiner, I got two perpendicular sides. When you're joining smaller pieces on the joiner, you want to be very careful and take off the smallest amount possible. Then using the bandsaw again, I cut the rest into one inch by one inch pen blinks and then just trim them to length, probably about five to six inches using the table saw. Most of the mesquite that I had was probably only cut down a few months ago and is still very green. So being the impatient person that I am, I decided to just microwave it all. Uh, there's a, just like skinning cats, there's a million ways to do this. Everybody has their opinion. I decided just to leave it at 100% power, throw it in for 30 seconds, come back every 30 minutes or just when I remembered you know, longer than 30 minutes, and throw it in for another 30 seconds. Uh, if you want more information on this, there's just tons of information about drying wood in the way. I picked out one of my pen blanks and marked the rough length of my brass tubes on it, and then just cut it. I drilled out the center of each pen blank to the diameter that I needed for the different brass tubes. Then just using some super glue on the brass tube, I like to stick it in, rub it around a little bit, and then really just slam it down on some paper and kind of rub off any of the excess glue that has come. Then using a barrel trimmer, kind of clean up the ends and get it down just to where you start to expose the brass tube. I bought my lathe used and it literally came with a grocery bag full of pin kits. A lot of them are old, not even sold anymore, not pictures of them online. So I took my time, this is the first time I put together one of these pen kits. I laid it all out the best that I could and then set up my bushings on the mandrel, put the pen blanks on the mandrel and I was good to go. This is another way of skinning a cat. I decided just to use a parting tool to turn my pen blanks. I got the pen blank sanded from 120 up to 600 grit and then swapped out the metal bushings for some bushings that I made out of HDPE. The reason I did this is because the finish of choice, which is super glue, does not adhere or stick to HDPE. Now you can buy pen bushings that are made out of this. You can buy rods out of HDPE. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive, but I find that they're somewhat handy. Otherwise you're just completely coating your metal bushings in super glue. I put on nine coats of super glue and then sprayed in between each coat with a fast activator. Every three coats, I polished with polishing pads from 1500 up to 12,000 grit. After the ninth coat, I grabbed an old t-shirt, cut it up, and used some plastic polish and polished it up to a nice shine. And then using a pen press, I pressed together all of the parts into the pen blanks. If you don't have a pen press, you can use a clamp, a vise, kind of really whatever you have. After I got the whole thing together, the tip of my ink didn't even go through the hole. So I took it back apart and I figured out that I put one of the springs in the wrong spot. Quick and easy fix, fixed it up, and I was good to go. It's not always that easy when you mess up, because taking these apart can sometimes be a real pain. 
I'm really happy with this pen and the pen blank that I chose. The colors in the mesquite are just awesome. I mean, it goes from kind of a reddish brown to a yellow to kind of even almost a little greenish tint in there. Really neat colors in this thing, and I'm kind of excited to get out my other pen blanks and get going on those. I am by no means a pen turning expert. This is probably my, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, seventh successful pen, and I don't even call this one successful. I don't like it. So, I mean, I literally turned this many pens that are good and this many pens that were bad. So, I just happen to have all the pieces that kind of came with my kit. If you were interested in pen turning, because it's definitely a kind of a neat hobby and an addicting one at that, uh, there's so many resources online. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and comment down below, share to your friends, thumbs up. Uh, if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Also, this pen is going to be submitted to a challenge or a competition put on by James Green from Stress Free Woodworking. Uh, these pens, this pen and every other pen that was submitted is going to be going across seas to our servicemen and women. And I will put a link in the description for his channel and for the playlist for all of the other pens if you want to check those out.